I was a teenager, I had that wish, and all my friends had already done it. Yes, it was my first time, but I was eager to experience it, that desire that makes you do naughty things. But what do you do when you are in your room and you don't have a boyfriend? Well, if you're like me, you go for the not here option. Do you remember that feeling of being in high school, full of hormones and uncontrollable desires? Well, I was right at that point. All my friends had already made it, and I was there, feeling like the last virgin on the planet. Not that I was desperate to do it, but I have to admit, I was curious. So, one day I decided to go in search of what I wanted so much. My plan? Invite home that boy from my class, the one who was always after me like a hungry puppy. Yes, the same one that he was always willing to do my tasks and that I always ignored. The excuse? Study a topic that you supposedly didn't understand. Sure, I could have googled it, but where would the fun be in that? Besides, he had to admit that the boy in question wasn't bad at all, and what better way to do it than with someone who was already crazy about me? I called him, gave him my best innocent girl smile, and asked him if he wanted to come to my house to study together. Of course, the poor guy fell into my trap instantly. It's not that he was a bad person, but I had to admit that I had a little fun playing with his feelings. We were in my room, him trying to explain something to me about mathematics, and me, well, me trying to hide my intentions. The truth is that I didn't give a damn about the topic at hand, all I could think about was getting closer and how much I wanted to have that moment. We spent a good time studying, but it was more about what we talked about than what we actually studied. We laughed at silly things, we flirted, and well, we looked at each other a little more intensely than usual. I remember that at one point, while he was trying to explain a topic to me for the nth time, I began to ask him if he liked him. Yes, just like that. Not that it was the most subtle way to do it, but who cared about subtlety at that point? And his response, well, his response was a little. He stammered something about how he saw me as a great friend and that he didn't want to ruin our friendship. Come on, seriously? Friends? What kind of friends stay late into the night in the room alone, talking about anything but math? I decided not to put too much pressure on him, but he wasn't going to give up that easily either. So, I started cracking double-meaning jokes, those that weren't really jokes but that hinted at what was going on in my mind. He laughed nervously, as if he didn't know how to handle the situation, but I could see it in his eyes, he wanted the same thing as me, but he was a little shy. And then, without warning, I moved a little closer and kissed him. It wasn't a passionate kiss, it was just a kiss on the cheek to thank him for helping me study, although it was just an excuse to see his reaction. But he didn't move away. On the contrary, he came even closer, as if he was waiting for me to take the initiative. And so, we continued playing and laughing, like teenagers in love. The tension only increased, as if we were about to explode at any moment, but we held back, at least for a little while longer. After a while, we stopped studying and decided to take a break, although it was really just an excuse for him not to leave, so I could stay with him. That's when we started flirting. The knowing laughter and playful gestures were present, anticipating what would happen next. Our talk took a different tone, every word and every look seemed to say something else, as if we were hinting at what we both wanted. I was determined to go one step further, to let the attraction that had emerged between us manifest itself more clearly. However, just at that moment, when I felt ready to act, I heard the sound of the house door opening. My anger, when I realized that it was my mother who had arrived, instantly ruined my plan. I knew I couldn't let my mother find us in that situation, it would be too obvious, and she would surely realize what was going on between us. So, with a mix of frustration and disappointment, I decided it was best to leave it for another time. I told my partner that thank you for coming and that we would continue studying another day. I tried to hide my disappointment behind a smile, hoping he wouldn't notice my change in mood. It was difficult to contain the emotions he had inside me, but I knew it was for the best at that moment. With a farewell gesture, I closed the door behind him, leaving me alone with my anger and my ruined plan. Despite the setback, I was not ready to give up. That night, I was left with a deep longing for something more. I wanted to stop being the school virgin. 
The thought of continuing to ignore my needs was unbearable, so that same night I texted my partner. I suggested that he come to my house the next day with the excuse of continuing studying. Every day, my mother went to work, and I was left alone at home after coming home from school. It was the perfect opportunity to be alone with him. The idea of doing it filled me with nerves. I didn't know what it would be like, or if I was going to like it, but I was determined to take the risk. The possibility of stopping being that innocent girl was too tempting. After going to bed with my plan ruined, I stayed up thinking about naughty things all night. My mind was filled with thoughts of what might happen the next day. What if I didn't like it? Despite my doubts, I was willing to do it, to live that moment I wanted so much. The next day, after returning from school, I prepared myself for what was about to happen. My mother was working as usual. A feeling of anticipation and nervousness washed over me as he closed the door behind me. I decided to act quickly. I knew I wouldn't have much time before my partner arrived, so I rushed to take a quick shower. As the hot water poured over me, my mind was filled with thoughts of what was to come. I finished the shower with a mixture of excitement and nervousness, aware that every minute that passed brought me closer to that moment. I dried myself quickly, put on some comfortable but flashy clothes, and headed to the living room to wait for him. Time seemed to pass more slowly as she waited for him. Every sound outside the window made me jump with nerves. Then, when the doorbell rang, my heart raced. I knew that this day would be the beginning of something new and exciting, something I had been looking forward to for a long time. I made him come in, and we sat together in the living room. I felt a mix of nervousness and determination as we settled in. That day, I was determined that something would happen between us. She wasn't about to waste any more time waiting for things to happen on their own. With every minute that passed, I felt the tension between us growing. The glances and accidental touches were enough to keep the atmosphere charged with anticipation. I knew we both wanted the same thing, but neither of us dared to take the first step. I decided to take the initiative. With a nervous sigh, I moved a little closer to him, meeting his gaze intently. Our eyes met, and in that moment, I knew it was the right time to act. With a quick movement, I approached, feeling the tension between us. His gaze intensified, reflecting the need that also burned within him. Without saying a word, we slowly approached each other, letting everything happen. I have to confess that it was an incredibly beautiful moment, a completely new experience for me. I felt like time stopped while we lived that moment. It was sensational, exactly as my friends had told me in their stories, but still, no description could capture the magnitude of the emotions I experienced at that moment. The feeling of the first time, everything was magical. In that instant, all my doubts and fears disappeared, replaced by a deep sense of joy. It was as if he had finally found what he had been looking for for so long, something that transformed him into a woman. That moment will be etched in my memory forever as a reminder of the beauty and intensity of love and passion. It was the beginning of a new stage in my life, one that I was willing to follow and enjoy all the wonders that love has to offer. Although I was nervous at first, I must admit that I enjoyed every moment of that experience, feeling his presence, his closeness, his breath. All of this filled me with a feeling of joy and fulfillment that I had never experienced before. All my worries and anxieties disappeared. I felt free, surrendered to the experience I had. It was a great experience, one I will never forget. At that moment, I knew I had made the right decision in doing so and allowing myself to have this experience. My first time wasn't with my boyfriend, as is the experience of most girls, but that was never important to me. The only thing I wanted at that moment was to enjoy. I know that for some people, the idea of having their first experience with a random person can be disconcerting or even frowned upon, but for me, the most important thing was to feel safe, comfortable, and ready to take that step, regardless of who it happened with. I wonder, what do you think about my experience? Do you think it was okay to do it with someone who was not my partner, or do you think the first time should be as a couple? I would like to hear your opinions on this. Leave me your comments. To those who are listening to my story, I would like to invite you to share your own experiences. 
I'm interested in hearing your views, your thoughts on the first time. We all have our own stories, and I believe that by sharing these experiences, we can find interesting insights. As for my situation, I must admit that I didn't tell my mother anything about what happened at the time. It didn't seem relevant to me. The only thing that mattered was no longer being the only virgin at school. The intimacy we experienced together, I didn't feel the need to share it with anyone else, at least at that time. But that doesn't mean I don't value the importance of the first time. I just believe that each situation is unique and that each person has the right to decide when and how to share their intimacy with others. After that first experience, I was with several more guys, each meeting was unique, full of emotions and discoveries. I discovered that I enjoyed every experience, every moment I had, and that was completely valid. Like every woman, I have the right to enjoy my intimate encounters without being judged. Each experience taught me something new about myself, about my desires and limits. I learned to value my body and feel safe in my sexuality, regardless of the expectations or prejudices of others. I understand that some people may think that what I did is wrong, but the important thing is that I feel good about myself and my decisions. I will not let the judgment of others stop me from living my life the way I choose. What matters is that I own my own sexuality and I am proud to be able to enjoy it on my own terms.